What's going on guys and welcome to a different style of video today because as you know previously we explored the mind and creativity of Stin Archie. Well I want to introduce you to somebody else, a friend of mine, a fellow content creator named Fluxo. You might have heard of him, you might not have heard of him, but let me introduce you to the work he produces as a satisfactory pioneer. So he sent me three worlds, the Red Jungle, the Swamp, and also the Northern Forest. And of course, there's a bean just chilling up on the roof. <laughs> Typical bean. So before we have a look at these saves, make sure you go into the description or the pinned comment in the comment section below and go over to his channel, subscribe, like his videos, and just explore some of the content he has produced because one, it's just cinematic beauty. So the first one we're going to look at is the Northern Forest. The last time he worked on this was July of 2022. And the thing you're going to notice as well throughout the whole entire saves that we're going to go through is the consistency in building techniques. From how clean the buildings are to the shape of them to the labeling of buildings, but also the subtle accents he uses with the signs on the just the edges of the building. It doesn't overdo it like I did, so there's not going to be any of that world corruption. But it's there and it creates it a nice little... It just pops. But then you're also going to notice the curvature of the roads, the actual um, train lines themselves. <laughs> and then not to mention just the sheer amount of concrete you're going to see. From the standard concrete to the lubed one. Yeah. The lube concrete but then he mixes that with the asphalt concrete as well because it creates that little bit of contrast from the whites to the grays to the blacks with of course the subtle accents of using the blues so we're gonna go boots on the ground here because i want to explore what are the factories i've not been into them yet so we can see this one's gonna make plates screws rods copy sheets cables and wire so we can see drones are being utilized and just that sign over there just looks clean just everything is clean it's like you can just tell where the pioneer is supposed to walk and just entrances in general yeah there might be a lack of like how do i put it like um clutter if that makes it sense just to make just to fill them empty spaces so let's head upstairs here oh and we've already into our first production room wire cable concrete is there a way for us to get down there or is it this just a a viewing platform like everything is symmetrical and i i'm not seeing anything right now i would change for example for clipping because you know my rule of thumb is if it maybe there should be a walk <laughs> yeah just go down here i want to get like c3 po'd and get thrown into the conveyor line here but i guess we could maybe sneak into here <laughs> and have a look around uh, and just see how clean and what he's utilizing for um, the builds in case you guys want to get info. I did not expect a train to go through there. Well, that's smart and clever. I'd never thought about doing that. Actually, no, I have. I've done that in one of the builds. In It was an old save, though. So, obviously, we're using copper. We can already see, I'm guessing, obviously, the copper's not optimized because it's obviously chugging along. But it's doing for what he needs to do. You know, but we're not here for the lines. We're here for the creativity, right? So let's jump back out of that room and let's head into here and see what's in here. Is this just the same room? It basically is. I've just done a I've just done a whole circle. And this is just for aesthetic purposes. And this goes to the train line over here. I'm gonna actually have a look down here because well that train's already coming back. So that's a quick journey that train's coming. I'm gonna guess it's going from one building to another. I'm guessing it's gonna take us into this building. So this train actually just comes around here from the actual straight up back of that building and goes straight into that station over there but then i also noticed something else there is also a train that comes out of this building and goes on a very short route to this station right here and it's not very often you see well such a short distance in train lines like for example i can even get the whole train line on one screen at very close distance like 
most people will put that on a conveyor belt, right? And take it straight in there. But also, just to clarify, Fluxor did state all this was built in vanilla. And you can check him out on the live stream because he does build all this stuff live as well. So if you ever want to catch his live streams, I'll make sure there will be a link with his YouTube stuff in the comments below. The one thing that blows my mind though, and to be honest, not a lot of things do when it comes to satisfactory because I've seen so much stuff and the creative uh, creativeness, creative, creative in it. Hello? The creativity of the satisfactory community is mad. The off-grid curves are blending together with on-grid curves. There is ways of doing it, but like, it's not easy. But you also need a lot of patience when it comes down to curves. And obviously this was built before Blueprints was introduced as well. Because we're going to be exploring all three of these saves, I want you to let me know in the comments below which save of Fluxor's do you like aesthetically, um, functionality, and just that looks, well, fun. So next up, we're going to look at the Red Jungle. And this one was actually uh, a two months after the previous one, which was the Northern Forest. So this one was actually last saved on uh, September uh, of 2023. And we can already see the consistent build style, but with a new couple of things that I didn't really see in the other one. And that is these little rivets right here. They kind of give a little bit of texture to the building and if you want to build these yourselves all you need is gonna well you're gonna need a road barrier just place one down and then just create the distances between these just like this and then grab yourself a wall hold control on them and then just just like that and then it just creates that texture it's very simple but doesn't come to you know people's minds with that ease the next thing is creating these unique angles with pillars which i've gone over multiple times in tips and tricks videos i've done on all that kind of stuff and it creates a very unique aspect to these buildings it kind of reminds you of how movies like now kind of like when they put you into the year 3000 like this is what they'll look like like imagine if he used a mod here for these windows obviously this is built in vanilla but by eliminating the struts that's in the middle and then creating that as a one big blue window or like a blue stained glass window it'll look like a force field but also he creates these signs which are very very creative and you've just got to play around with multiple different sizes of signs right so you're gonna have the large ones you're also going to have the smaller ones with uh, a large one behind it. But the one thing it keeps consistent is is with these signs. And everything's called Flux Refinery, Flux Steel, or all that kind of stuff. Because why not? It kind of... It's like his fix-it company. And the way you build these signs is very similar to just like a jigsaw puzzle. You use one sign, and then you start utilizing other signs with other signs like kind of pushed out from it kind of thing and you can kind of create cool aesthetics like creating a full solid blue background here but then on this one make the blue background a gradient which you can do right here and you just select it i can even change it to this i even change it to that one if i wanted to and you can definitely see the difference that it kind of creates but it doesn't blend well with this one but like i said this whole save is giving me like year 3000 vibes for like hunger games uh, or anything, what was that film called with Tom Grizzit, Oblivion, that kind of thing as well. But also one thing I do like about this save, and he actually did it in the other save, I just didn't point it out, was actually this right here. So you can see he's utilized the soft clipping to create some chimney stacks. And all these are a nuclear power plant. But he's done something extra creative, which I've never thought about doing, which is this right here. And this, I've got to tip my hat off to it. So if you actually look here at the actual nuclear power plant, um, you're going to notice this whole blue chamber right here, which is just filled with water. But he's utilized this and hid everything else within the building, obviously utilizing the smoke stack. But this central column here is using it as some form of accent on the building, which kind of it makes it pop it makes it stand out and i've never thought about doing that before but i will be for certain now so if you like this save obviously let me know in the comments this one right here is a lot better than the first one for me different style there's definitely new techniques and all that kind of stuff next up we're actually going to look at the swamp save so the first thing you're going to notice about this save it's very similar to the other ones like i said it's fluxor's build style once you see a picture of somebody's save you know what creator it is or what user or pioneer is actually building that save. And Fluxor save is no different. Just again, with the creativity, with the lights and the walls using the barriers. And then again, the smooth turns merging with the 
factory grid, grid itself but as you can tell there's a lot more traffic on this one obviously using the signs as well but this one is a lot more complex than the ones we've come across before we can already see the big fix it logo in the middle but then also the directions to other factories as well he's also blending the gardens with the factory which kind of create some spooky evil corporation from the vast plants just kind of merging and rising above the factory itself to just the cleverness of hiding the miners and having it like peeking out the ground just weren't wondering if there's any spiders actually underneath there with this one as well he's also utilizing car parks just for the sake of it just to create a bit more of a living factory with also the use of lookout towers that actually have hyper cannons to get us around the factory and where we need to go so we can see flux quartz over here on the left hand side obviously what it's going to be making straight to look out so i think what we're going to do is let's go boots on the ground and have a look at flux quartz but this time he's used red he's using red as a color for the flux which i never thought he would do because all the other flux ones are blue so i'm curious why this one's red so as soon as we enter here we can see the cleanness this just the signs popping out and creating that bit more of the highlights in this build is that beams no it's, it's the same technique is used with the barriers and walls to create like a grid like you know roof and then just from the pillars to actually you know bringing the silica down here through the floors but the depth is used here it's not like it, the, the lift is just flat against the wall or just hanging there the pillar behind it just bringing that forward from the wall actually looks really nice and then just looking through the floor here, you can just see the items moving, heading to the destination where it needs to go to. But also, I've got to be careful because I am in the swamp. There might be some hot pockets of gas clouds around the factories that might affect me or try to kill me. So let's try and see what's out here. Is this, the, is this just a back entrance to the build? I think it is. But then again, creating these angles of walls like this, you know, I really like how he's integrated the lifts with the walls and the lights like this and hiding it behind there. Uh, and it just creates that bit of because i don't like lights being visible especially when it comes to the wall lights or the street lights unless they're on or a road of course but when you hide it like that it creates you know a really nice effect so i think that kind of sums up um fluxor save like his creativity and cleanliness and just how fluid all of his buildings merge together and roads and all that kind of stuff I think it kind of sums up how he is as a pioneer. So like I said, go into the comments below. Let me know which save of Fluxos you liked and tell me the reasons why. Was it creativity? Was it just maybe just the biome and how the buildings interact and blend with each other? So I wish I could show more of this. Like maybe in the future, I'll get another one of Fluxo. I think he'll probably send one over uh, and show me, but... I have got a few other content creators lined up as well. So go in the description, go and check out his YouTube, check out his Twitch channel, and I'll even put that as the pinned comment as well at the top of the comments. Um, and yeah, check out my other content right here. Keep smiling, and I'll see you in another video.